Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. In this one I'm gonna show you how to get better ADC measurements with your processor. So, if you've ever gotten, and you probably did, get a little bit of offset that can amount to quite a lot, then I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that right now. So, I have a fresh project open up right now, with the project uh, processor that I'm working right now, and it's bare bones, it only has the corresponding ADC1 input 16, in my case, connected to it. All the ADC peripherals are set at default value. I only increase the sampling time to quite a large value to give the ADC time to convert the input value. And this is actually recommended if you really don't need that fast conversion speed. Also on this pin I have a voltage divider where the second resistor is unknown, but in this case we have a known 2200 ohm resistor and I have a formula and we're gonna see if the processor gets that 2200 ohms correctly or not and we trust the resistor to be in the 1% range. So let's go to our project. So if I go into my code window over here, come on, and first we start by our variables. We need an ADC variable and the resistance variable that is gonna calculate our resistance and also status type def variable. So the first thing, as we did in the ADC video, we need to start the ADC peripheral. This is done over here. This is just a formality. So if the start function returns some kind of error, this function gets called and we can know where the error has occurred. So this is just a formality you can do without it. Next one, we're gonna pull for the conversion. We give this function 20 milliseconds worth of timeout and then just call the how get ADC value. So this is gonna get the value. And don't worry, all this code is going to be available in uh, .c and .h files, so you can add them to your project or just import them, copy-pasting from my GitHub. So it will be available, no need to copy-paste from the screen. So and next is the function. Well, this is just particular to me, but this function I derived in Mathematica, and this function just takes the input ADC value and converts it into resistance of that resistor that we're measuring. We have a delay and let's just recompile in my case or just click debug session and we're gonna start it. By the way, over here I'm using the JLink software as well on my JLink uh, education version debugger because I'm using that for all my processor projects. So let's go F8 to our function over here, execute it. Yes, it's executing correctly. We're getting the new ADC value calculating resistance and we get 2066 ohms which is way off that's very off that's around six percent if i'm not mistaken and we want to fix that i'm going to do that by copying a function from my other window i'm going to show you what it does let's call it over here before we do anything else and this function is called the whole adc calibration start it's gonna start the ADC calibration, in this case for a single ender type of measurements. You can put also the ADC differential over here for differential kind of measurements. We're gonna give this the same treatment as the other function and a little bit of delay so we can know this is completed. Also worth noting, before starting the function, ADC peripheral needs to be stopped, so it must not be running. And I'm also gonna include everything that in the functions that I'm gonna provide you in the link in the description. So with this, we can leave everything the same. So as we know, we get a very wrong measurement. So let's recompile and re-upload. Let's go back to our function. It's executing. So right now, this function has already been executed. So the calibration has been done already. So let's just go on and let's get the value and convert it to resistance. And wow, we get 2201 ohm. So this is the quantization error at most. So we get a very precise value. So this is the trick. You have to use the calibration start function to calibrate the ADC itself. Note in the ST datasheet, they recommend you to use this function every time you're stopping the ADC peripheral for a longer period of time. So if you're using ADC and disabling it, and after like 5-10 minutes, I don't know, re-enabling it, run this function so it recalibrates the ADC. Also, you use it every time you start up your processor, when you boot up the board. 
So no worries, create a function that calls this calibration and you're good to go. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the links in the description for all the code and I'll see you in the next video.